What's up, everybody? And welcome to the week 18 Swolecast. This is um, this is new for us a little bit, having an extra week of the regular season. But then again, it's not new because everybody knows that the edges are to be had in week 18, especially Pete for what? It is, uh, it is in fact, cash game week, uh, cash kitchen. Game. I have turned in my GPP bro card for real. It's time to play a real man's game. It's head to head cash. It's double ups. It's stuff that actually matters. No more of this yeah. galaxy brain bullshit. It's time no. to play the best plays, Dave. It's actually sad to see what's happened to some of the guys like Levitan. Um, yeah. You know, because I remember the days where he would create like four or five different cash game lineups in one week. Yeah. And now he doesn't even care about cash games. Yeah. And in fact, you know, what's actually really disheartening. He even had a tweet to me earlier. He said he he hopes I lose every single cent this week. And I don't know. It's it's sad. It's sad to see him hating on his roots. Wouldn't you guys say that it literally costs nothing to root for your friends in cash Mm, games? Yeah, it's literally I'm free to root, except yeah. except for the fact that Pete and I are playing each other for uh for about 0.08 Ethereum this week. Don't this say 0.08. True. That's <laughs> that's bad memories. That's what I minted board apes for. Kitchen, um, kitchen. Yeah. It's not about you, bud. <laughs> About the fact that Pete and I are playing a uh, thousand dollar head to head. Well, week? I thought that there was a 10 K head to head. I thought Hoka uh, sent someone a 10 K head to head for a uh, for cash game. Did he? Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not playing the establish the run optimal for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there might be a 10 K head to head floating out there. Uh, Chris uh, Neville, I think, has now thrown down the gauntlet to us. Ooh. So. Uh, we will see what we get up to. Um, you might it will have to be crowdfund that <laughs> cash down. Davis, how how much do you think I've gotten in head to head so far this week? Well, I said when you first posted the tweet that you're going to get more than you got last year, and I had a piece of your action last year. And if I remember it correctly, it was about forty five hundred is what yeah. you ended up getting in. So I'm going to guess you've gotten at least four thousand dollars in action thus far. No, no, I wish. I, I'm about to a thousand. Um, I have 64 head to heads that I've accepted, um, but more in the you know one to ten dollar the, range. These people, these people are scared. I, I've gotten 13 invites thus far. These people are scared. They want to play. They want to play Pete. They don't want to play noted noted cash game grinder Davis Maddock. They only want to uh, play you. even more so. They don't want to play noted cash game grinder for life and low price quarterback in cash originator soccer day because I, I don't think we can let zero, you in on the bit i don't think i've we can gotten let you in zero on this invites that is some real fear floating out there do you want to do you want to hear the most nate noling story ever by the yes, way his his DraftKings name is so boring it's just nate n that you literally can't find him to send him an invite. You type in <laughs> Nate N and you get about 900 accounts. You literally can't even send him a game. I, cause I posted that tweet in my account and she's like, Oh, if you want it on the fun, send it to revert top Davis, Maddox, whirling dervish or Nate N. And you literally can't send Nate games. Like it's so funny. It's um, also like the order of how people like people just don't want to send Nate games. It just doesn't sound fun to people. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Darren, um, Darren, Darren Waller's back this week. So you know who Nate's playing at tight end. Oh, I'm adjusting my shell. Hang on. Do you know who else makes me adjust my shell? Who else is back at practice this week for the Titans? I, I, refuse, I, I refuse to acknowledge this. His birthday was yesterday. I try not to get too excited about things, but when people are posting all the time about it, when I see Silva uh, with his shirt, (laughs) his King Henry shirt uh, and his tweet, like it's making me excited. Uh, The Titans, the worst one seed potentially ever in NFL history. Uh, Save that for your Skip Bayless shows. Uh, That is like, (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's the talk. I mean, does, 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 do, do even Titans fans think they deserve to be the one seed? I, I mean, deserve is a relative word. Like, but you think you they're think the best about, team in the AFC? When you think about all that they've lost, the Titans are like the epitome of Week 18. If you think about it, they are. I'm a, thinking about it, and I don't really. Yeah, get it. they are yeah, a really. grinding team. That's all they do is grind. Uh, stars go out. You're left with backups. What do you do? 
you just next man up. Donta Foreman, bam. Jeremy McNichol, McNichols, Hilliard, whoever the wide receivers are on the team, it's next man up. So they it are sounds the like what you're saying, it's kind of a system thing. And actually the talent of like Derek Henry and AJ sort, Brown sort doesn't really like matter. Yeah. No, no, I'm you, you're you're hearing me exactly the wrong way. I'm saying <laughs> it's an effort thing and not a time. Ah, okay. okay. It's the, the Titans putting in the work, but now they're uh if they get this first round by then you're talking about getting some of the big dog healthy julio ajb and then home field advantage here in nashville so look out i'm not going to get excited though I'm not going to get excited about that I'm not going to get excited about darius garland and the recent tear that he has been on um, well it's hard to be which, on a tear when you're in the health and safety protocols he is again he, he just got out like last night. He dominated again. Well, Dave, let's just not jinx it. Cause we are so close to getting out from underwater on our, no, uh, we're not underwater. Our... Davis. It's one day you'll learn to listen to me. I talked about punks. I talked about board apes, Darius Garland. Well, Mooncats. when you told me to buy Darius Garland, uh, he's, he's like 50% off when you told me to buy him. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I say a, well, uh, like, a thank you is in order uh, for people that have followed. When I when I when I sell it for exactly the price I purchased it for, I will tell you thank you. Hey, we'll, we're about to get into the. Uh, <laughs> by the way, Tyler's not on the show. For people <laughs> <waiting> for <Tyler's laughs> to talk. If you're listening to this in podcast form, it honestly probably sounds like what the beginning of the show normally sounds like, which is just us talking shit and then Tuttle going, all right, so week 18. Uh, well, that part is, that part cool. is not going to come because Tuttle's not cool. here. <laughs> yeah, so we wish him and his family um, the best as far as their health because they're all sick um, and Tuttle is taking care of them like a, a good family man should. So uh, should clarify, this- they only have the flu. So don't send him, don't send him coronavirus well wishes. I just, I just said oh, <laughs> their family is sick. Like we don't, we don't have to clarify. One when you, when other. someone tells you they're sick in 2022, don't you just assume they have the coronavirus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if like if i like i like if i told you guys like oh i can't make the show i'm sick you'd be like oh well he's got he's got the bid have you gotten tested have you gotten tested i did oh, uh, i just I, I i wasn't feeling great this morning so i went and just got tested hang on that reminds me though we need to congratulate steven on his new full-time role correct yeah has that been since we last did We're- the show we yeah, were talking he's, about uh, that. You weren't on the you weren't you were late a little bit getting to the room, but uh, uh, yeah, we were talking to him. He said he's it's um it's been a lot for him the past three days. He is the, the official scores and odds in game live college basketball, uh in game live betting specialist. So wow. Yeah. Took, took and uh Steven, is there anything I don't know if your mic is on for the actual show feed, but anything you'd like to say about kind of kitchen yeah kind of sort of thanking Dave and just everything he's done for you he said I think that's I think that's for the best I think I think uh what Steven just said should never be heard by anyone the other best than us. mentor Davis maybe you should take some notes um, I think the the best mentor you, is in the backfield for the KC in the playoffs. am right? I right <laughs> <laughs> all right uh let's Let's move on. Um, we need Overzet's overview of cash. We need Overzet's week. overview. This is going to be it's going to be a lot because we've got injuries. That's a normal part of Overzet's overview, but we also have now the uh, the must win factor, the uh, rest factor, and the incentives factor. Love the incentives. Some might say it's even too much for one man to even be able to kind of <laughs> drill down and deliver in a really succinct way. <laughs> Some would say that, but not us on this not show. Us. Oh, no. We have faith in you. You know, I mean, a lot of people would maybe say, like, how did you actually have any time to study the slate when you're just, you know, shit posting on Twitter the entire <laughs> morning? And I would say, get you a cash game grinder that can do both. <laughs> Can you just read the thread that Amico started about incentives? 
Uh, oh. Well, I do have a few things up to read uh, that I haven't necessarily, you know, soaked in. I, I, I got, think... I, I got a couple. If you, if you need help. No, no, no. I, I do want to give the uh, the overzet overview of the week. It's why people tune in. This is a big week, like Dave said. A lot of moving pieces, and the way I think about DFS, Dave, is it each slate is its own unique puzzle. And, um, and it's our job to put it together. And this week we have extra pieces. And uh, one of those pieces you mentioned is motivation. We're looking at teams who are highly motivated, like the Tennessee Titans, the 49ers, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Saints, the Rams, the Colts, the Cardinals, the Chargers, the Steelers. Feel free to fire up those teams with supreme confidence, the Ravens included. Now it gets a little murkier when we're talking about teams like the Bengals, the Bills, the Patriots, the Bucks, the Cowboys. The Bills, sure. the Bills, the Bills have to win. I mean, they are in the postseason already. Um, I guess they're playing for what home field advantage in the wild card round, Davis. And and they would like to win the division. Like I know that that sort of thing doesn't matter for some teams, but that will definitely matter for Hardo McDermott when it comes to winning the division versus Bill Belichick. That hundred percent. See, this is something, you know, when you're a cash game grinder, just kind of staring at the projections, sometimes you forget that McDermott has been cucked by Belichick and has like a hundred times. So, yeah. <laughs> so revenge there. I mean, the teams that are not motivated, we're looking at the Packers here. I mean, I'll just tell you right now, would I love to play Devontae Adams in cash, but at 9,400 and unmotivated, that's a tough, he's not, even gonna, me, he's not even gonna play. It's a tough click. That's what I said. Uh, the Eagles uh are not uh are not motivated either they're either the sixth or the seventh seed and uh their individual matchup has no relevancy so um that definitely kind of wraps up the motivation stuff for everybody yeah uh but the incentives mm, the incentives that's a different type of motivation so the so big he, ones the, uh, the go Cooper ahead Cup, i just right? want to say one more thing and then davis yeah. can go through the incentives i do just want to be careful with this because last week there was a narrative floating around about antonio brown incentives <laughs> why that might be a reason to play him and he literally retired mid-game so let's just make sure <laughs> that you're not over extrapolating these so the well, the the there are a couple big incentives. The ones that I think might actually matter in terms of who you should play and who you should not play is Cooper cup is close to having the best wide receiver season ever. I believe it's six catches and 45 yards away from, from the records uh, for most yards and most receptions. Stefan Diggs is six catches away from a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, Gronk is 65 yards and six catches away each for half a million dollars. So those were the, those were the big ones. And then Mark Andrews is like 140 yards away from most tight end yards for a season ever. Kyle Pitts is 45 yards away from the rookie tight end record. And um, Jamar Chase is 65 yards from the rookie wide receiver record. So just, just a couple. And then Jonathan Taylor, the, the, this is probably the wackiest one is Jonathan Taylor's 266 yards away against Jacksonville from 2000 yards yeah that's not happening oh yeah yeah don't you know don't you know about the most amazing narrative ever which is that if the jaguars win uh and the colts lose the chargers and raiders can just kneel and out for four quarters yeah. i really i obviously the jaguars are not going to win but i want it to happen just to see how the teams would actually behave in practice like what would would they actually come to a handshake agreement or would they just say like we're, we're going for this and then if they did do the handshake agreement would goodell be like well we're not oh, rewarding this it would it would melt people online like they would literally be melting and i would be, need all here. Yeah, we really be need here yeah i'd be here for it <laughs> <laughs> I'd be here for the results in that all right um well let's start with uh with quarterback you are you keeping up with the the QB MVP narrative, uh, Peter? As far as some people maybe not voting for Aaron Rodgers because of uh, the the COVID stuff, and then yeah, Brady you know, needing some things to go right for him. I mean, yeah, it seems like every year, Dave, we kind of reinvent what most valuable means, and now right. we're adding in factors <laughs> like, oh, just because a guy said unhinged things on the Joe Rogan show, he's not eligible to be MVP. <laughs> I mean, cancel culture. Who out amongst of us? <laughs> Who amongst us? Um, yeah, D Dave, I uh, I am keeping really close tabs yeah. on it. Um, I've actually been sending out kind of internal polls to friends yeah. just to kind of see how he's testing, you know, with the normies and stuff. Uh, I, I think he's going to win it. I really do. 
I'm saying I'm uh, people are sending me uh, messages and I can say who, but people are, gonna, are sending me messages. Hey, bet Tom Brady plus 550. Like there's a strong undercurrent as far as people going against Aaron Rodgers. So we'll Brady's see had a that. better statistical season too. He really it seems, has. It's it seems weird because uh, I just thought the media would like the guys the the guys who have MVP votes. It feels like they'd really want to give Brady this award. So I don't know. It feels feels a little weird that there's this I undercurrent mean, of populism for Aaron Rodgers. And how about thinking about the kind of um, personality managing Brady's had to do on the side with Antonio Brown. Like he's literally right. his chef has had to whip up brunch for this guy in his own home. I mean, Brady deserves MVP just for what AB has likely put him through. Correct. And without Fournette, also. I, I don't mean, know if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, Fournette might be. I mean, he's proving himself to be maybe the MVP of the team. All right, but let's get on to quarterback play for this week. Are there any low price quarterback options that you like, Peter? I think there's one guy that stands out for me. Um, and obviously, uh, you know, there's, there's stuff with Lamar Jackson, but uh, Tyler Huntley uh, is currently in my, in my cash game shell right now, Dave. Really? Dave, Davis, you agree with that? I mean, I, I think Tyler Huntley is, is a good play, but he is not who I have in my, my cash game shell. You have Josh Ooh. Allen? I have Josh Allen in my cash game shell. Wow. I'm kind of worried about the motivation. McDermott cuck narrative aside. <laughs> the, the, I, I just gave you, and jo, I mean, you, we're talking about MVP. Josh Allen has a very outside ch- chance of, of getting some MVP votes. As Davis, well. back in my day, we didn't pay $8,100 for a quarterback <laughs> in cash. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, well, so I, this is an interesting thing yet every year in week 18, some team will just say we're resting all the dudes. Uh, it, right now, the early favorite is the Bengals. Uh, they said Joe Burrow's not playing. Joe Mixon is not playing. Uh, and then Zach Taylor was non-committal on Jamar Chase, who does need that record that I just mentioned. So they would be down to a wide receiver if those guys, assuming they sat their starters, Stanley Morgan, Mike Thomas, Trent Taylor, all minimum salary guys. Every year this happens. Every single year. Some team has a bunch of min price wide receivers and you use one or two of the most min price guys to get whoever you want. And then you pick the wrong one. Of course, this is before Pete's time in the cash game streets, but Robert Foster versus no, the bills, Robert Foster versus Duke Williams. uh, I think three years ago, Robert Foster goes zero, zero, zero. Duke Williams goes seven for one twenty six. gets the bonus. Um, Not that I'm mad or not that it cost me a bunch of money that week or anything. The year before uh, that, it was the giants and all the giants receivers were not playing and so i i do vaguely remember this but i don't remember the guy that people played i forget we've we've mentioned on the show before but it was a 3k wide receiver and he was like 50 or 60 percent owned it was um it was some guy who was good in college i dude i know exactly who this he didn't even play though (laughs) he he like they didn't report it until after the game had started I'm going to go figure it out because I know I, I exactly remember this. Yeah. But, point, um, point being, it's not going to yeah. be hard to get Josh Allen in your cash game shell this week, Pete. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. I think I'm a little more concerned about the motivation than you are. What, well, what's the, what's the Ravens motivation or are, are, are they not drawing dead? The motivation for the Ravens is it's big Ben's final game and big Ben is going to throw the ball five yards, 65 times in this game. And we're sure looking is. at an up-tempo game and, uh, and Huntley's but really it, good. But am I wrong about that? Are the Ravens not dead? Uh, the Ravens I believe are dead. Okay. But that's why this is the time. Uh, let's see. They have a shot. They, the Steelers must beat Baltimore and have the Colts lose, but they also, Let's see for the yeah, Ravens. It all, it all hinges on the Colts losing, which is all these scenarios, dude, which is just not happening. Right. They, they need to win. And then they need the Colts, the Browns, the chargers and the dolphins to lose. And that's why Tyler Huntley is going to be playing with his hair on fire out there. Just yeah. trying to do everything he can. What about, what about Taysom at, at 6,200 against Atlanta? I think, I think that's interesting. I, I like a little bit more upside from my cash game quarterback i think Taysom offers you that nice floor but we've seen huntley kind of get us to that ceiling range as well 
The Saints okay. are just playing such gross games right yeah. now. I mean, they no, really it's, it's are. It's terrible. It's so – and I, they can't get in the playoffs. I mean, they can, but I do not want to see the Saints. Won't, the won't everyone just play Lance, though, if he starts? What was the – I wasn't on Twitter last week. What was, like, public sentiment on uh, people Trey were, Lance? They were – they were, this guy sucks. He's a bust. He can't beat the Texans. Like, it was It was all – it was the all – first half was bad. Tri- yeah. It was bad. And then they turned it on the second. Like half. it, like, like I, I tend to gauge the, the, the public perception of a rookie quarterback based on the Salfino meter. And if Salfino feels confident saying that a guy sucks, considering how bad <laughs> Zach Wilson has been, that means they're having a really bad game. And Salfino was like, you millennials in your Trey Lance, he's never going to be any good. So I was like, yep, yeah, he's, he's not having a good first half. So who is the lowest price quarterback you'd play in cash, Peter? Is it, is yeah, it probably Keenum? Lance. Case Keenum? No. No. You no one's like, playing Case Keenum. As Davis said, we're going to have so much value this week uh, that you're not going to need to fully punt it off at QB. All right. Correct. Let's, uh, let's go to DK and create uh, a nice little cash game lineup. Mm. All right. You can dupe us in – the $50 massive double up on draftkings.com. Oh, that reminds me. I got to get in that. Spots are, they're filling up quick during cash game week, bud. Oh God. Are they? If I miss out on this. They'll just launch another. <laughs> Typically how it works. All right. Well, uh, Peter looks for that contest. Uh, Davis, you can go first. All right. Cash game quarterback. We are, uh, we're going to load up. Trey Lance, $5,500 okay. against the Los Angeles Rams. So we did our QB section. I said Huntley, you said Allen, and then we pick <laughs> Lance. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I wonder I wonder if Huntley, I wonder if, if Lamar doesn't start, I wonder who ends up being more popular between Huntley or Lance. I'm seeing Huntley projected a little bit higher right now, but I wonder if that stays. Yeah. Um, okay. Um. I, I man, I'm so loath to give away my shell, you know, this early. <laughs> I know it's tough. It really does. But hurt. we got it, dude. The people are registering for their cash game contest and they just want to hang out with You're their right. family for the rest of the week. So they need it. All right. We're going to keep the good times rolling with Sony Michelle. It's another stone cold cash game lock. All right. <sighs> and since we're going with this, we're going to have to save some money because we're going with Cooper Cup. I am not fading Cooper Cup in cash. I don't care. Dave, you are you are a true cash game grinder right now. Wow. I don't care how expensive he is. You don't fade the floor. It's like, what, a 20, 25-point floor you're getting from Cooper Cup this week? You're not fading that in cash. No, you're not. I completely get that, Dave. Um, there's a couple of these. I mean, Cooper Cup, is he a must-play? No. Yes. Is he a want play? Of course. Of no, he's, course I want He is him. both. No, he checks on my want play. Both of those boxes. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, I mean, looking at this late, when I was reviewing my shell earlier, I really, I was just, I wished we had a Steven Anderson on this slate. You know, a 2,500 Nick Eubanks. Davis, are you going to, you going to correct me? You have a 2,500? Yeah, I got one. I, now I'm loath to give this to you because I know that you are playing with Holka and Leone this week, and I didn't really want you guys to be considering this guy. But I don't think Leone will let you play him anyways. So we are going with John Bates of oh, the I thought you were gonna Washington say John football wow. team. I thought uh, wow. So Ricky, Ricky Seals Jones concussion. Logan Thomas IR. Uh, Samus Reyes played I think eight snaps last week, even after. RSJ got hurt. Bates had kind of started working in with, with RSJ in there. Anyways, we'll get our, our three for 21 against the New York giants and, uh, and be happy with that. For, uh, wow. John Bates. Master Bates himself. Come on down, buddy. And th- literally the only reason I'm, I was even bringing it up is because I know you'll bring it up to Leone and he'll be like, dude, Cole Komet is so much better points per dollar. Cole Komet is I was 90 gonna, targets. Cole Komet was going to be my pick. 
Cole Komet is who a, Leone is. Cole Komet is who will, Leone will want. To well, play we're going to have end. a 2v2 for all the money. Cole <laughs> Komet versus John Bates. It's going to be, this is going to be the 2v2. It's going to be like John Bates and Bills D versus Cole Komet and Washington football D for the, all the money. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take my side. Bro. I'll coin flip that for a thousand bucks. That feels right. fair. Well, Gross. speaking of which, you know, if we're going down to master John Bates here, um, I am going to get the book. I'm going to get the Bills D in here. Uh, I think we're going to have enough on this slate to get up to the Bills D at 3,700. I don't know if the Bills D is that good Why? of a spend. They're, they're the best play. Dude, Zach Wilson, bro. Yeah, what you want, you what you want. spend up for defense in cash games. You don't spend well, up you, for quarterbacks either, and Davis wanted to do that. You can, you, you can, can, but what you actually want is you want a mispriced defense going up against backups, which is the Cleveland yes. Browns against If you guys Bengals. don't think Zach Wilson wants to turn over the ball, you are sorely mistaken. Please do not question the cash game king on cash game week. I think Bills and Washington are both very viable. And Dude, I'm, I'm telling you Bills. right now, the Browns are going to be what people end up playing against you. Good luck. Yeah, or playing send me a head-to-head head. against the backup. Like why? Like the no. The don't send. Don't send Pete a head-to-head. Head. Send me a head-to-head. Head. Send him to Davis Maddox. Oh, I actually just got another one here. Thank you, big time the- fish. <laughs> 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 the Jets. I mean, they almost beat the Bucks. All right. Last week. Uh, I am going. I'll I'll do this to make Dave happy. It's we'll Kitchen's go- pick. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You stole my tight end pick. Then I did a defense <laughs> pick, and now it's back to kitchen. No, I just hate that we you that we spent money on the Bills defense. Look, kitchen, kitchen. If we if run into were, a dead end, we, we can, can adjust. Swap. Okay. This is a collective Ca- show. Yeah, cash game bros are always adjusting and swapping. All right. Oh man, Dave. There's like such an obvious pick. I'm surprised you haven't taken it yet. I'm going to take it if he doesn't. I'm, I, it, my pick is that. Is next. it a running back? I already put it out on Twitter. It is a running is it, back. Is it? Do they play for the Cincinnati Bengals? No. He's well, in my cash out. <laughs> I mean, P. Ryan, that's who I was going to say. Uh, if Mixon's maybe playing, Maybe a guy who went to Vandy? Jay Cutler's wow. been back this week. <laughs> no, dude, what is wrong with you? Sherfield? This is like this is like prime yeah. soccer day bit that you're missing. Is make your Sherfield? pick. Make oh my god, make your pick. I already said P Ryan. All right. Okay. Well, I'm this going. Is- I'm gonna I'm gonna put Keyshawn Vaughn in our flex. I can't believe you missed that. Oh yeah. Keyshawn Vaughn. It it is a three running back week. I do just kind of want to say this. Um, yeah, for sure. Don't don't get cute with your wide receivers. I gotta get a ceiling in here. No, no, I just get the touches, lock them up. Three running backs, guaranteed, guaranteed touches, dude. That's what it's all. Okay, that's the name I was of the game. a little. I mean, I love Keyshawn, obviously, but when they bring Le'Veon for goal line touches, it's the, it's the Panthers, bro. I just don't know. All right. They just beat this team by like a hundred two weeks ago. Okay, Keyshawn, P. Ryan, Sony. Ooh. All right, we have uh, this is like this is like actually everyone's receiver. cash game team right now. You guys aren't gonna like this. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna like, but sometimes when you're playing cash, you gotta make uncomfortable plays. This better be a cheap wide receiver. It is. Okay. It's Robbie Anderson. Ooh. What? No. <laughs> yep. This is not in the spirit of cash game week. Why are you yes, it is. Robbie Anderson to the people? I've reviewed optimals on multiple sites. Robbie Anderson. Robbie didn't even Anderson practice is the play. today. He didn't I, will, even- <laughs> I will say there is a a roughly zero percent probability of you playing Robbie Anderson on Sunday. Do you want to know why you put Robbie Anderson in? It's so you can play AJ Brown for seven K. I mean AJ Brown is fine, obviously. If you have, let me hear your suggestion for a sub forty five hundred dollar wide receiver. I'm just saying we're going to get a three thousand dollar wide receiver. We'll be playing on Sunday. Okay, well, yeah, we I don't, don't know. I'm going right to check now. the date, and it is Wednesday. <laughs> it's more of a first look show. <laughs> you guys, I, look, an art. I know sometimes on the show you say, like, lock it in. You don't have to change it. This is a shell. It's fluid. <laughs> okay, you need to be reactive. If you don't have Adam Schefter alerts on your phone turned on, you're going to lose this week. I'm, I'm putting Cyril Grayson on my team instead of Robbie oh, Anderson. God. Davis, you didn't have any love for the uh, Dallas wide receivers this week? 
I saw I that you were, they, I don't you were celebrating care. Gallup's injury so that the Dallas Cowboys could sign him for cheaper. Yeah, I don't think Dallas cares this week is is the thing like they they don't have any chance of getting the one seed so i don't i don't i don't think they particularly care so that's Guys, gonna be an issue i just realized i think we have too much correlation in this lineup we have a mini with robbie anderson and Keyshawn vaughn we have trey lands with cooper cup and, and sony, sony michelle i think we're opening ourselves up no to too much positive peter, variance peter this is what cash yeah, dude. Game we bros just play. Do. We just play. We just play the best plays, dude. This is what cash right. game bros do. They they focus on their cash lineup first, and then they throw it into a GPP. And if it min caches or max caches or whatever, what? that's, just, <laughs> that's just the extra icing the max on the top. Cash. Well, when I'm thinking about max cash, you remember when uh, like the Blitz Optimal like was one of the top zero point one percent it, it finished optimals. 20th in the millie maker <laughs> yeah so you had in all the other contests you had like five people five to ten people tying for first place and splitting all those prizes cash game bros don't care about that that's just extra icing on the top the, the max cash. davis are you triggered by this 50 dollar head-to-head i just got from- i just got i just got one too cj yep welcome cj gosh the only frankie Draft king's notifications i get are for- wait no I got right. one from CJ. <laughs> as well. Hey, I, I have a real question for you guys. Look Father, that. CJ, and Frankie P to a Frankie dollar. Frankie P, lineup. big fan of the show. What what is what is this friend notification stuff on DraftKings now? Like, what is this? I haven't accepted there's a single like, friend request. There's like request. a DraftKings social media yeah. apparatus. I've never. I, Should I've I be shit people... posting on DraftKings social? <laughs> I don't think yes. you can. I yes, you, you can. can. I don't. I, you can post. Yes, I've wow. accepted. You can definitely post. Requests, That's why. And if you're verified, I could probably get you guys verified because I am. Um, I'm a suggested follow on DraftKings Social, so I get notifications all day. <laughs> How did that happen? Because what DK content pro, are you giving people? It's because he's a DK pro. Buddy. Have I ever told you that was a DraftKings pro back in ha- the day? Has DraftKings ever looked at your Twitter account? <laughs> 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 they, they don't care. Uh, so if you go to the social tab on DraftKings, you'll see um, you'll definitely see my name up there as a suggested follow. Wow! So yeah, amazing. I got a t- ton of followers. I've got over a thousand followers on DraftKings. Seriously? Yeah. How are you? Seriously. How are you monetizing that day? Yeah. And you know what? I put for the link. I put Swolecast for the link. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. A company man. Wow. You actually have some posts up there. Yeah, from week two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Pete, I think uh, you need to get shit posting on DK, though. I should. Let's uh, let's do running backs now. Oh, wow. We're only on running backs. <laughs> I do actually this was, have a hard this was, <laughs> this was the exact opposite of the Silva show. <laughs> the Silva show is just a sprint to 325. Oh, Oh, Total would be having a miserable time right now. I didn't tell you guys, uh, but s- somebody tipped Silva off to the disrespect when I called I him saw Adam that. Silva. Yeah. Well, Silva legit sent me a DM. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? This is serious DM. What did uh, he say? He was mad? No, he wasn't mad. Uh, in fact, it was the opposite. I think at first I was like, does he think I'm serious? He said, hey, my brother, I just finished watching the week 17 Swolecast, which, A, I can't believe he it is a lie. The Swolecast. Yeah. He said, I love you, bro, and I miss you, and I hope next time we can get together, we can eat from the same piece of bread. I'm also glad you <laughs> beat COVID? the Omicron. Hope to see you at the RG Super Bowl party. If which was so, canceled. We gonna be, if, if, we, <laughs> if so, we're going to be alphas in that place uh so anyways people silva, silva. why are you reading, wanting to meet are you up reading dms on air bro yeah I'm that's be, not kosher i'm gonna think twice next time i send you something that's for sure kitchen if it's a positive dm <laughs> i can read it davis if it's a negative one I, I probably won't read that well i just don't think everyone needs to have a visual of you guys like lady and tramping uh a piece of bread <laughs> here <laughs> Do you know that's that's the bit? Like last time we were at the Super Bowl party, 
he was he would just come up to me he goes hey uh how's that cake and i'm like it was pretty good he's like feed me and i'm like i, I, I just <laughs> feed me bro it. and i would i like fed him with my fork so that's the king saw. henry bros just partaking from the same yeah, bread. The, that's the king, bros, king, king henry we got to get to running back um who's the who are the alpha running backs that you guys like this week davis uh well sony michelle chase edmonds if uh james connor doesn't play david montgomery against minnesota uh jonathan taylor everyone is going to be alpha in him into their lineups uh kamara against atlanta is sort of interesting they they've just been so disgusting deandre swift is down at fifty nine hundred dollars against a green bay team that is not going to be trying to win and uh people were disappointed about his output last week but he did lead the lions backfield and snap so it was kind of a weird game script thing and then devin singletary just getting all the work for the bills it's like it's like unbelievable um it's like the most upside he's ever flashed in his career after he already killed everyone's best ball teams which I'm legally allowed to talk about now. <laughs> All right, uh, Peter. Yeah, Davis continues to not want to put any respect on Samaj P. Ryan's name, and it's uh, frankly it's yeah. Why, Davis. why is that, Davis? Um, because I have him projected in a pretty narrow split with Chris Evans, because this is a game that doesn't matter to the Bengals, and they kind of like. Um, What's his name? They they kind of they kind of like Samaj Piran. Like they think he is a decent player, and they'll probably want they'll probably want to stay they'll probably want him to stay healthy. So I don't know if he'll get twenty touches in this game. I just want everyone to go <laughs> back in yeah. your your time machine to week set sixteen last year. Joe Mixon is out, and people were worried about Gio Bernard. And guess what? Gio Bernard still had sixteen carries for sixty five yards. But you know what? Piran did thirteen carries, ninety five yards, two touchdowns. Highly efficient, nose yeah. for the end zone. I can't get behind the narrative that they are trying to save Samaj P. Ryan for the playoffs. Well, just they're not playing any of their starters in this game, I don't think. He's not a starter. They you he has more receptions on the year than Mixon does. They use him. Okay. I feel like you're making scared money sense. don't make money. Yeah. <laughs> no, and not that not that not that he's bad or that I won't play him. I, yeah. but I like, I would much rather play Keyshawn Vaughn if Ronald Jones is out personally. Two touches last week, two touches the week before, six touches the week before that. I just I don't think, think saving more, Samaje is going to be the, uh, the narrative you want. I'm more worried about Lev Bell for Keyshawn than I yeah. am Chris Evans Same. for P. Ryan. That exactly. seems fine. Those are, those are both, uh, those are both reasonable. Neither of them are the only the only real slam dunk play of this late is Michelle. Yeah, I mean he's yeah. the only he's the only zero qualms running back play. Not Jonathan Taylor. He's like ninety four hundred. Ninety three hundred. Yeah, yeah, and you you need to save that money to be able to get up to the Bills D. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. It's just one of those things. It's like, and and also, you know. They're they're playing the Texans. They're up ten points. I mean, they're up fourteen points. Are they giving Deion Jackson carries? Like, do they do they care about? So here's here's the question. Jonathan Taylor has hundred and forty three rushing yards at half. Do they just say, get your two thousand yards? Like, are they are they just jamming JT in to get him the record? Or do they not care? Not even a record, just two thousand yards. I think they get him to two thousand. Yeah feed the man right. <laughs> they've stopped throwing him the ball at all he's got he's got like four targets the last month which is a, if a you bit saw odd. the titans last week against miami you know the running game was pretty strong um and the patriots play miami this week if you will have a limited damian harris could it be ramondre stevenson season davis we're only talking about cash games um so obviously not not playing Ramondre at all. This feels a little games. thin, Dave. Yeah, it feels a little feels, thin, bud. Feels a little thin, man. Sounds like you're kind of galaxy braining a cash game show. Okay, here's yeah. the here's the thing though, because Peter, you're a cash game bro one week out of the season. Yeah, yeah, I am a cash game bro. For I mean, it's just in my DNA. Yeah, like, I would kitchen. never not be a cash game. Bro. How many, how much cash game action have you played this year? That's that doesn't take out the fact played, that he played he played me he played me one week. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Yeah, Davis is so scared he wouldn't even rematch me or send me any invites for any any head. I don't, game I don't, I don't send invites. Right, I don't Davis, do whatever. that. You're Anyways, a cash game poser, is, a poser is what Anyways, you're trying to say. Let me let me tell you about. There is a core of your cash game. Okay, there's your core, and you talk about you have the core and you have like seven players that you want to play. You want to fit in. There's a two V two. Sometimes there's a flex play and you're just like, I got to do it. There's a little bit of risk there, but I got to do it. Especially that's that more of an NBA. Upside. That's more of an NBA DFS thing than an NFL it's, DFS thing. Are you Davis, mansplaining to the cash game King right now? It's how not. cash works, Dave? I'm just telling you I mean, that final piece might have a little is, bit of risk to it. He is mansplaining you. This so when you say guess. Ramondre, if Damon Harris is out, Ramondre Stevenson is not a thin play. He's actually. I'm, track, but he's I'm gonna, sending. He's I'm get, sending you a head to head right now. I'm sending it. <laughs> play Ramondre Stevenson against me. I dare you. I dare you, bro. Yeah. All right. If also, I need to talk about something with these head to head invites coming in. And uh, Iowa Husker, it does look like you rectified the situation. But am I just willy nilly clicking accept on all these? Yes. And if you try to sneak in a Saturday one or a Sunday all day one <laughs> on me. There will be head to pay or hell to pay. I well, will Pete, that shouldn't be a, that shouldn't be a problem because you should only have a lineup for the one slate. I, uh, you're right, but I might not have that lineup on the site yet. <laughs> you meant are Josh we, in the you, cash game show? The shell is oh. on the notebook paper. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I can't believe that you have been, ju- it, it, well, this was just a little bit of helpful advice. It will make accepting all these games much easier if you have a lineup you're to put just, in. You're just saving, like, you're just reserving all these cash games. Yeah, Pete, without- that is, that is, that is a lineup. That is a, that is a recipe for, Look, for disaster on some Tell me board. you're not a regular cash game, bro, without <laughs> <laughs> Look, if i end up playing a little tennis dfs so be it <laughs> all right uh any other high price running backs that you guys like this week that you're going to take any sort of risk on feels like a mid six week kind of week maybe getting up to uh to jt okay all right there we go let's uh let's move on to uh to wide receiver this is where the bread is made in week 18, friends. This is where we have to figure out who we're playing and uh, maybe more importantly, who we're not playing. So, uh, Peter, I'll let you start. You know, it is uh, – I just want to, on behalf of all of Cash Game Nation, um, it's tough to lose Braxton Berrios now that he's been priced up to 4900 I mean, this guy has just been an absolute print fest for us these past few weeks i can't I mean, even i can't a, do this it's a total so a total free square just absolute cheat code i can't believe people were fading braxton Berrios last week <laughs> <laughs> i mean this reminds me of when uh mayweather uh fought conor mcgregor <laughs> <laughs> and it was just the lock of the century so i mean to all the slappies that faded him last week uh you know thank you for all your action well um, we, so got, I, we got we got punished appropriately we did we did so you know braxton barris is now 4900 he's not really in play anymore but um you know we we had a lot of good times we did all right so did you answer the question about who you like, <laughs> you like a wide receiver well the thing about dfs dave is it's it's yeah. less about who you like and more about who you don't like, don't like. that's what i just said <laughs> I'm telling you right now, this slate is we're starved. We're starved yeah. for value. <laughs> I yeah, mean, but I, I mean, I just guarantee you we're gonna get it. There are gonna be multiple teams who are just like we're we're not playing this game. Like Cedric Wilson. They're gonna be like Amari Amari Cooper and well, here I I'll give you one right playing. now to everyone who's kind of going through withdrawals on Braxton Barrios. Adam Humphreys at 3,700. Yep. Is could be our generation's Braxton Berrios. I mean, I would prefer that his A dot was actually even a little lower. Sometimes they're using him a bit too far down the field for my liking. Um, but I mean, this guy could catch, I don't know, three, four balls. And that's so the second, 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 second time we touted a three for 30 line from a Washington football team player on this show. I mean, if man, if I was playing GPPs and, and I'm not, I mean, something with an Adam Humphreys Bates double stack sounds real nice yeah uh so some of the cash game wide receivers uh what's interesting is that 
Justin Jefferson is way better points per dollar than Cooper cup, like way, like projected basically the same. And nobody's playing Justin Jefferson and everyone's playing Cooper cup. That is, that is a little bit of an interesting um, game theory angle. Pete, I don't know if you've thought about that as it pertains to your cash game shell or not. No, I just kind of put the best plays in and I make my opponents prove it to me. So if you guys want a galaxy brain, Justin Jefferson uh, over Cooper cup, prove it. Cole Beasley is $4,800 against the New York Jets. He's uh, he's sort of like, he's sort of like the Buffalo Bills, Braxton Berrios. Every team kind of has their own Braxton Berrios, if you think about it. If you really do, yeah. What about Dalton Schultz? Pittsburgh love. After watching them play? You want to, are you touting Ray Ray McLeod? Ray Ray, I I mean, Deontay is going to get a thousand targets. People still don't put enough respect on Deontay's name. Ray Ray McLeod's last Ray Ray McLeod's last touchdown came in 2017 when he was playing for Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> you know who uh, I might just have to get into my cash game lineup this week is Jacoby Myers. Yep. I mean, guy just scores my, touchdowns these days. Could have been could, could have been him scoring two touchdowns last week instead of Christian Wilkerson. Yeah, I'm almost worried he's too uh, dependent on touchdowns for his production these days. Um, I'd prefer it when he's just kind of the high volume PPR guy, but the touchdowns, I guess, are a bonus. All right, other wide receivers that you like, Davis? I mean, I'm hoping that the Cowboys rest Amari and CD so that we can play Cedric Wilson. Uh, a couple of the other guys who I think are are playable, the aforementioned Cole Beasley. Diggs is popping in our projections again in that Cooper Cup slot, but look, we're all we're all playing Cooper Cup. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown just has like he's like the wide receiver four over the last month of the season, and he's playing up against a team that doesn't care and is not trying. So um, that is that is a little bit interesting. But I think the cash game construction will be Cooper Cup minimum price wide receiver from whatever team ends up resting guys on Sunday morning and a five to six K wide receiver, like value guy. Russell Gage. I mean, I get, I get a little <laughs> An athletic when I see specimen. That. Yeah. Admit that Russell Gage has been playing well, Davis. I know you ragged on him all best ball season. You got to admit Russell Gage looks decent out there these days. He does. He does. He, he does look uh, like an NFL player. Good for him. Hey, are the Dolphins going to be playing like like regular? Let me ask Patrick. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I did you that. see? Did you see? He's turned into an influencer, Pete. I, oh yeah, yeah. I was hoping that he'd be that I would run him in, run into him uh, in Nashville since they were playing the Titans last weekend. He's but not traveling actually, with the team. He's not traveling with the team. I had dinner with heart. him on. I Saturday know that's night. what I'm saying. I I saw the picture of you having dinner with him it uh it was because he's pretty young right like he's yeah, like 20, what 20 24 yes yeah, so like 15 years younger than you like, it was like- <laughs> 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 so that was like it was warming it was <laughs> It was heartwarming to, to see. That was Dave. You're not very That's, funny on this show very often, yeah. but that was so freaking good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so triggered. I think they just caught uh, Peter off guard with that. Anyways, I'm so triggered. No, the delivery was so good, and Peter was not ready for it. Yeah. Peter was not ready to be called a 40 year old on this program. I feel like Michael Scott. You know when he makes a joke, and then people laugh, and then like he. He gets like so much. All right, here's a question: bigger gap in age, Patrick yeah. Laird and me, or Davis and Blender? <laughs> Blender is like 67. <laughs> I know Blender. Blender told me how old he actually is on the tape cast, and I was like, absolutely not. You're at least 10 years older than that. <laughs> I, I I believe, I believe Blender said he is only 12 years older than me. I believe that's what he said. But I mean. That can't, it's just got to be a lie. Blender has got to be 65 years old. Blender told me he only owns three pairs of pants. <laughs> you guys, was this, was this all after the show? You guys were having this conversation? No, this was because we were talking about NFTs and I was like, I was trying to explain to him the desire to flex. And he was like, what? <laughs> I tried to explain the desire to flex. And he was like, play. what? That makes no sense to me. I own three pairs of pants. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyways, I was going to say for the uh, GPP bros that are listening to the show still, 
Um, Devontae Parker. I don't think we have to worry about that. <laughs> Devontae Parker might be a decent play. You mean targets he got last week? Probably a lot. 13. 13 wow. targets. He's under 5K. So uh, you remember, he's AJ Greenlight, and uh, he might he might have some motivation this week. Uh, AJ Green Light is uh, not necessarily the comparison that gets me excited. Yeah, not these days, but like AJ Green in his prime light. Okay, that's what I should have said. All right, let's uh, let's do a Fanduel lineup. I, Are you playing d- uh, cash game on Fanduel as well, Peter? Um, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Um, I do because have if 11- you if you are not, you cannot be included in the cash game bros. No club let me finish okay will i be playing big volume over there probably not will i have a team yes um and look in in the same way you know when someone is raising money for a new company maybe their seed round gets over invested (laughs) i have eleven dollars and eleven cents worth of head-to-heads i could accept on FanDuel without being the deposit king so uh first come what first serve happened, what happened to the bankroll builder that was the swole cast well <laughs> cast started the galaxy braid a little too much on wednesday oh it, is this what happens when i miss three out of four weeks yes kitchen do you hey, want to tell you, everyone Dave, why you, you use your name on uh fandle <laughs> <head-to-head stuff? laughs> yes. if you want to sit if you want to be two, uh, one of the two people that can send <laughs> Peter a five dollar head to head, it is FF underscore. Make sure you include the underscore comedy hour, Pete. Sure. Right? There's no underscore between comedy hour and Pete. Um, it is <laughs> you the, don't even know your own name. It's no, you got it wrong. It's the FF comedy HR underscore Pete. <laughs> I think you should bring back the FF comedy hour. Some might even say it's already been brought back. Davis. Actually, no, because there was like serious like production that went on into the comedy hour. Like you can still go look up. It's like one of the early historical uh, DFS shows. The first, the first generative comedy football <laughs> it product. Really, it really is. I didn't and want Kitchen to say it's the moon cats. It from it's obscurity. The moon, it's the moon claimed, cats of DFS shows. Claimed, are they, are they, are, are, is it a claimed or unclaimed podcast? It's, it is crazy to think how far we come because I remember how excited I was to book David Kitchen to be a guest on that show. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, FanDuel <laughs> <laughs> are you okay kitchen no no this uh long covid um been sharing right. too many uh pieces of bread with silver over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's uh let's create a lineup shall we yeah um P- peter you go first definitely um definitely <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, we do have one slam dunk play that kind of transcends both sites and scoring settings, and we are going to put Sony Michelle over here. Yeah. David? All right, Sony Michelle is 7,700. <laughs> this is a different type of um, format. People yeah who are used to playing in a ppr site this is a half point ppr favors running backs more so whereas jonathan taylor oh, might have scared jonathan foreman in oh okay <laughs> what whereas, did he say whereas jonathan taylor might have scared you on dk he should not scare you on Fanduel, where he's 10.2 k it's why i All love right. playing over on Fanduel because <laughs> you can just get in a bunch of studs man it just gives you that warm fuzzy yeah feeling and inside. here's and here's a little bit of a tip uh, a mm. quick tip for the cash game bros or want to be cash game bros on FanDuel: don't just put all your action in the multipliers because there is a significant benefit in going to the 50 50 tab sorting by entrance get in all the hundred man 50 50s that you can because Amen. there it's a lot that's like where the FanDuel cash games has an edge over DraftKings. Because then, because like 50 50 games on DraftKings, they're really hard to come by. They're really easy to find on FanDuel. All right. Davis, I just want to say real quick go off, King. Uh, I thought that was, that's the good stuff. Yeah. That's what, 
This is this, this is what I've been waiting for this week right here. Trey right, Lance, yeah. a quarterback. He's only seven thousand. Wow. Wow. He's he he and Huntley are the same. This price. would be the lineup. This would be the lineup you used Josh Allen in, not Trey Lance. But anyways. I gotta be honest, I don't know about the value options on FanDuel as well. So well, <laughs> fraud. You Just know FanDuel. Fraud. You know that it's easier to spend up at quarterback. Yeah, but the if you want to play of... if you want to play Cooper Cup here, he is twelve hundred more than every other wide receiver. Yeah. Well, you might not be able to play Cooper Cup in this lineup. This would be your want to guy. All right. Anyways, we'll go with Trey Lance. He's only eighteen hundred or less than Josh Allen. But anyways, all right. Um, Peter. Yeah, we're gonna put in a wide receiver who's too cheap over here. Yeah, that's Tyler Lockett. Ooh, I like it. 6.9K. Love it. We'll go with – oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. No, you can go. He's just going to put in Zach Ertz at tight end. Yeah. He's, got like, he's got like 25 targets the last two weeks. I love it. Guy that just catches and falls down. That's what we want in cash. Yeah, just immediate. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Can we – I don't think we can make – Cooper Cup work in this lineup, even with you can play AJ Brown though. Well, AJ Brown, here ye, here he's ye. cheaper. He's cheaper than a Monroe St. Brown. Wow, life comes right. at you fast. Let's go with AJ. Let's go with AJB. Who are we spending up a defense here on on FanDuel? On, I'd love to spend up on the Bills. Sure, <laughs> Bills are too pretty- cheap. Gets pretty no, tight. Let's, Gets pretty tight. I know tight. this might be. I know this might be gross, right, especially seeing how many points they allowed last week against Seattle. But the Lions are men salary, and they're going to be playing against Green against Bay's Jordan scrubs. Love. Yeah, and yeah, and Jordan Love, and Dan so, Campbell, man, he's a he's a competitor. He's well, gonna and he's going to get them sure hyped. He's gonna get them hyped for the game, so I'm gonna put yeah. in. The oh, lines. boom! And then we can go. We can go. Uh, cash game lock. Jacoby Myers, and maybe uh, DJ Keep Moore. Going. I was gonna say Keep or Singletary. Bond. Yeah, you Singletary do not want to go four receivers. <laughs> Fan to a cash game lock. I'm going. I'm going Vaughn again on mine. Yeah, I did just see Ronald Jones in practice today, so I am he's, officially gonna update my shell. He's in a walking boot, bro. I'm updating my shell. I I just said that. All right. This team looks nice. Send me a head to head on Fandle. But not for more than ten dollars. What's the what's the lowest uh, price point for head to heads on Fandle? One dollar. All right. I want to get eleven one dollar head to head. It's too much variance if it's just against gonna, two. I think I can smooth it out a little bit across the You'd be kicking yourself if on DraftKings you just get railroaded <laughs> and on FanDuel you've got like a top five percent lineup because that's what's gonna happen. What's the worst case scenario? I lose forty three percent of my head to heads. Buddy, let me tell you, it's pretty possible. <laughs> 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 oh man i mean it is hard just knowing how many people you know for levitan to kind of put out that energy that people are rooting for me to lose every penny yeah. it hurts but it also fuels me levitan <laughs> his uh his character arc is uh is interesting he, he um, can we workshop a bit yeah i i need you a rocky style training montage of you like <laughs> like over a calculator like <laughs> watching watching cooper cup game tape like drinking drinking power raids while clicking optimize on, i gotta on get blitz. snapples for levy right <laughs> and then and then you have you have the motivational material you print out his feet on the wall <laughs> I, i'm taking down my kids uh drawings from the fridge and putting up the motivation <laughs> yes exactly oh, all right sounds like a great idea if i okay had time uh, to guys, make a video i got on a shit post I got a hard out. This is uh, my third day on the job as um, director of marketing, media, and design for Rotor Grinders and Scores and Odds. So, and did I see breaking news on Twitter that Dan Bach is relocating to Nashville? Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. You guys gonna be uh, spot each other at Planet office, Fitness? Yeah, do uh, the orange mocha frappuccino trips. Totally. Dan's totally in. 
Uh, I, if I just get an invite to the, whatever golf club, whatever country club Dan's in, I don't even want to golf. I just want to be. Well, in the midst do you want that. me? Cause I got you an invite to Cal's sports book. So <laughs> yeah. I could just kind of throw my weight around here, Dan. Please. I know kitchen would really uh, appreciate it. If you invited him to the members guest tournament at whatever country club you end up joining. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I, we David talked would, about David would embarrass you. Don't, don't do that. I would not embarrass him. I would like, i I was with CSU at his country club back in the day. Yeah, and you asked Timex who he was. No, that wasn't with CSU. That was um, that was with Beep. I'm a Jeep. Okay. So that was in when I was in Canada. Wow, you didn't in, even you didn't even get invited to CSU's wedding. Sad. I'm not sure, I did. No, say that's fine. We missed I did, you. I, I think I did get no, invited hey, to the buddy, wedding. B- buddy, we missed you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> can we uh can we move on to tight end you talked about Ertz. um any other tight ends I thought you had you a hard out on? bud huh I thought you had a hard out that's what i'm saying can we talk about tight ends can we get it can yeah we get i mean done? we kind of talked about it at the top davis threw out master Bates. i threw out commit mentioned Ertz. i mean that's really your cash game options right there yeah i mean the, the, the bros who just push optimize are going to play a uh, $3,400 Cole commit. Maybe if we get a bunch of value, people play Gronk. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty maybe. And maybe we'll end up with a, a Steven Anderson right tackle situation where we can play a truly uh, $2,500 guy. Maybe a Nick Eubanks for Detroit that make it move for you, Davis. Yeah. Uh, is, is what's his name is, is Brock Wright questionable um yeah i think he retired after appearing in nfl all day packs <laughs> he reached the peak all right this is where i if i think that this guy needs to be in oh, consideration boy. for your cheap tight ends i, I swear I to might... god if you say anthony ferkser listen sometimes in life you grind you crawl until it clicks right Anthony Ferkser is 3.1K. My favorite, my favorite part of the season was when Mike Vrabel called him a special teams player. Well, I think it's done now. And they lost Michael Pruitt. They uh, brought in, they had to sign someone, uh, Ryan Izzo. They, they brought him in, but he won't be playing, I don't think. So they're going to be really thin at tight end in a must-win game. I think, I think it's clicked for him. And he's 3.1K. Uh, just pencil him in for a touchdown. Pencil him in? Yeah, pencil him in because uh, you might need to rearrange that depending on whatever news. So are you accepting even money bets uh, if I say he doesn't score a touchdown? <laughs> I probably need a little, I probably need a little <laughs> he, bit of extra he, juice. I, no, that sounded that sounded to me like a guy who wants an even money bet. <laughs> no, if I said like Sharpie it in, that would have been like an <laughs> even money thing. It's so it's more of a in. shell kind of thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. shell. Like he's interchangeable. I Like I might bet him over Bates. So you might have that for sure. Okay. okay. I, I feel like they're the same player pretty much, except with first. Except one of them, one of them literally does not come off the field a la week 16 Miami Dolphins, Patrick Claird. What is 100% of snaps in that Washington offense anyways? More than 50% of the snaps in the Titans offense. Master Bates versus the Ferk Daddy. It sounds like a great. That's, event. that's, that's week 18, buddy. 25 Davis 25 no. <laughs> no what I don't care enough to wager on this <laughs> what's the bet kitchen I'll take it yeah I mean Davis wants to put this guy in his cash no can I no taking... I want Cole Komet though Cole Komet versus no I'm not going to give you Cole Komet because Why? I think Cole Komet is a way better option than Bates is so <laughs> So I guess wow, we just kind of wow, soccer Dave, but... soccer Dave is on team ETR in the head to head then apparently <laughs> or team right. team tilt space. Okay. Um, let's, I never even got hooked up with a free complimentary blitz subscription this year. It's been tough. It's did been you tough. ask? Uh, I think I did at one point I right, have to get premium. Hey right Dave, now. that's not premium is not the, the blitz is a separate add on that Cardi has to hey, sign off on. And if I you thought I get asked, the white glove treatment, Cardi slides into the DMs. Dave, while, while I have you here, my RG premium access expired on January 1st. If you could. <laughs> yeah. It was funny because 
during the show, I had to message Ross because mine also <laughs> expired. <laughs> so if you Ross, could, if, if you could, listening. if yeah, if you could also message Ross for me, that would be okay. very. I because I I hate to now that Dan is now that DB is like the boss boss. I'm I'm not gonna like DM and be like, hey, can you go into the back end and give yeah, me? Yeah, but you don't have please, a problem Dan? with me. I'm I'm now. One of the higher ups too. If so. I saw any evidence that you did any work for rotogrinders.com, I would feel bad. Buddy, I'm going <laughs> to, listen, I'm going to bring you to work day. Like you're going to be uh, gonna <laughs> your bring, child to work day. <laughs> bring Davis to work day and you could just shadow me and I'll I, show you how it's Dave, done. Dave, I would love to do that with you. Okay. I would. All right. I want, can we send, can DraftKings be done with the Chasing the Goat series and send their <laughs> documentary crew? We should have a, tape that. we should have a segment where we just come up with like 10 different shows that would be better than chasing the goat <laughs> <laughs> around around the dfs industry it would probably take two seconds all right uh let's go with final closing thoughts davis you're on your phone so i assume there's some breaking news <laughs> yeah uh breaking news cam Akers expected to be active this week Ooh, what do we think about that, that? I mean, if he's active, he's going to be taking some carries away. Yeah, but probably not many. Like, I, I don't know. I wonder, Pete, as a cash game, bro, does that make you, does that, are you feeling nervous at all? Or aren't you worried about Cam Akers? Yes, you would 100% be nervous. No, it's just, it's something about getting him in his pension and they want to put him in like a jersey and. I don't know, put a lay around his neck or something. It's all, it's all decorative. <laughs> I, I remember, I, I distinctly remember Rick Bay talking about the lay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> so Sosa, I just noticed, said a four-man swole cast for $20. Is this between us three and Sosa? Apparently. Total, total not invited. Sosa, I can't accept this, but if you do want to send me a direct head to head, by all means. There's uh, way too many laughs on this show. We needed we needed Tuttle on the show. Is way we too, needed uh, we needed Tuttle. I don't know if we gave out any actionable advice. We didn't even give out yeah. Pete's cash game show. No, there's so many giggles. The giggle gang was like on steroids for the cash game week. So uh, again, wish Tuttle the uh, the best and his family the best in um, as they get healthy from the flu, Davis. And <laughs> why do you say that as if you're so skeptical? <laughs> no, I'm saying it because Davis, <laughs> Davis said that we need to, I said he was sick. His family was sick and they need to get better. Davis wanted me to specifically. Yeah. Like when, an, M- when an NBA, like when an NBA player misses, they say non COVID illness. That's what you say. When someone is, is unwell with a cold or a flu, you say they're, they're, they're out. Total is out with a non COVID illness. See, you're giving COVID too much in that instance. We should just go back to saying people are sick. And if they have COVID, you would just say they have COVID. But like sickness needs to be still sickness. Sickness need- does not equal COVID. Anyway, this is a okay. great note for the show to end on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Davis, final thoughts. Um, final thoughts. Uh, I guess there is def. Well, actually, I don't even guess. There's definitely going to be money to be made on guessing motivations that the field doesn't know. So, for example, the McDermott has been cucked by Belichick a hundred times narrative. That is my personal favorite this week because I don't mm. know how much the field is going to be playing that one. Uh, the Russell Wilson doesn't want to lose his last game as a Seattle Seahawks narrative. I like that one. Uh, but just you, you pretty much can pick your, your, your potpourri as it were, because literally you can justify any play this week. Very similar to drafting someone at best ball and saying, this is just the guy you needed in week 17. Yeah. Like a super bullish on um, the fourth wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers. <clears throat> All right. Uh, speaking of terrible takes and Terrace Marshall, Peter, do you want to give a terrible take or is it not necessary for this show? I, I mean, I, that seems more like a GPP bro thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm just going to play the best plays and, and see where the chips fall. Okay. So closing thoughts from you, Peter. Yeah. Um, I think this is a week to have an extremely uh, tight core. It is a prove it week. Um, I think that uh, I'm going to have a very short list of, of want plays. Um, and there's going to be a lot of must plays too, Dave. And so I think just, being ready to grind your dick off this week, make sure that you're grinding all this news because that's where we get our edge. Um, and also please send me a head to head on DraftKings revert Z top. No, send, send, send them to revert Z top, but also send them to Davis Maddock. <laughs> uh, Minkus Pinkus love. and Jordan Bloom confirmed it was Roger Lewis 
Bowling Green. Bang, uh, bang. Yeah. Roger he was Lewis, Bowling Green correct? State's wide receiver, I believe, in college. Oh. It was really good. He was that week 17 bust. <clears throat> All right. Uh, special thanks for everyone that is tuned in, that's still tuning in, uh, even though we've got a hard out. Uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate you dealing with, um, you know, just the things that come life's way. Sometimes stuff happens. Sometimes you get a little injury in your foot and people say, oh, they're done for never going to come back the way they were. And you know what? You come back week 18. And that's what we're doing this week. Just like Derrick Henry, we're coming back with a vengeance. So uh, hear ye, hear ye. Best of luck in ye lineups this week. We'll see you next week for the playoff edition of the Swolecast here on rotogrinders.com. <laughs>